Okay, here it is. So what we do first, like I said, now that you know the problem, we're brainstorming crazy solutions. Totally fine to go to the nut zone. In fact, it's encouraged. So the next thing we're going to go through and do is you guys are going to make a prototype of your solution with Play-Doh, Popsicle sticks, glue, whatever you need to the materials we gave you. Sound good? Okay, so even if it's a website, because when I was in college, my idea was for a website. And I had to make a website prototype out of Play-Doh, okay? Okay, now this is, this is super key. What you're going to do is when you have your prototype, the next step is you're going to take your prototype and you're going to look at it and go, I don't like you yet. Okay, I don't, go away, okay? <laughs> Meaning don't fall in love with it. You're going to go stand in front of your dream customer. You're going to do it group to group. And you hand over the prototype and you get bad kitty if you look at it. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to look at the eyes of the person you're handing it to. So when they take it and they go, you're like, wait, why'd you do that? This is good. Let me write that down. Why did you make that disgusting face? Right? Right? You see what I'm saying? Because all adjustments in the prototype can't come from you. It's got to come from the end user. Okay? So do not fall in love with your thing. Never, even your core product that you develop at the end of this now or whatever, always go in. I'm doing it now with you guys, by the way. And I'm watching how you're reacting with it. And I'm taking notes on it. And I'm going in, I'm making adjustments to my offer or prototype moving forward. It's always a, a, work, in art, a work in progress. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah. that's where we're going next. You guys are going to take 10 minutes and grab, break out the Play-Doh, the glue, whatever it is, and make a, some physical representation prototype of your solution. Let's go for it.